Hey, what's up? My name is Willie Chin. I'm going to show you how to stream on IG Live using your laptop. Yeah. Streaming on your laptop is cool. You can set up overlays, add your logo on there. You can have some moving graphics on there. The only drawback you have when streaming from your laptop is that you cannot invite people on your IG Live. So your IG Live request will not work. And you don't want your streaming feed to crash. So do not log in from your cell phone the same time you're streaming from your laptop. All right, let's begin. I'm going to show you how to do this in four steps. Step one, you need to download these two programs, OBS Studio and Yellow Duck. Go to obsproject.com, download the one for your operating system. Now go to yellowduck.tv, now do the same. Now you're gonna install both of them. Just click and drag it into your applications folder. Now do the same for Yellow Duck. Step two, now let's open up OBS Studio and go into your settings. General, we're gonna leave as is. Stream, we're gonna need some information from Yellow Duck, so we're gonna come back to this later. Output, video bitrate, I have mine set to 3000 kilobits per second. Encoder set to software x264. Audio bitrate at 256. Recording, if you wanna record your screen or record the stream, you can alter these settings that best work for you. In the audio tab, I leave everything disabled. So under the video tab, we're gonna have to change our canvas to get that vertical image. Let's go into base resolution, and we're gonna change this to 1080 by 1920 and then set the frame rate to 30 frames because that's what Instagram streams at. Hotkeys you can create shortcuts for almost everything in this software and advanced I just leave as is. Step three. Okay let's set up a scene now. In the bottom left of OBS click the plus sign. All right title it whatever you want to call this scene. Now we're gonna have to add our video source and audio source to this scene. On the sources click the plus sign. Select the video capture device. You can title it if you want or click OK. Now select your device. You can use the internal camera on the laptop or if you've seen my other video about how to use your DSLR with cam twist, you can select that right here. I'm using a capture card so I'm going to select my capture card. Click OK. Now you can just click and drag your capture window to adjust it to the scene. Now we're going to need to add our audio input device. Click the plus sign again, select audio input capture, click OK. I'm going to set mine to my sound card. I'm using the Universal Audio Apollo Twin. Alright, click OK. Alright, you can see the levels of me talking. I'm using the sound card right now to record this tutorial. Step 4. Now we're almost ready to start streaming. Let's open up Yellow Duck. Now just type in your credentials. If you want to allow commenting on your feed, have this checked. Also, if you want the video saved to your story, have this checked. Now click login and start. Now you're gonna see the RTMP URL and the stream key. We're gonna copy and paste this into OBS Studios. All right, now let's go back into OBS Studio settings. Click the stream tab. Now let's go back to Yellow Duck and copy the URL by clicking this button and paste it back into OBS. Now copy the stream key and paste it back into OBS. Now click OK. The stream key changes every time you log in, so you're going to have to copy and paste this every time before you start your stream. Now we're ready to start streaming. Click Start Streaming. And there you go. We're streaming right now. And now when you're ready to stop streaming, just click Finish on Yellow Duck. After that, click Stop Streaming on OBS. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to add the logo and moving graphics to your stream. Well, have fun streaming now. If you have any other questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also find all this information on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Remix. Also, check out soundboypro.com. Mod.